Joe Berti ran the Boston Marathon, finishing the race just moments before the first bomb exploded. His wife, Amy, was at the finish line that day. Then on Wednesday, he was driving near the town of West Texas, the day the fertilizer plant exploded and captured this image on his cell phone. Joe and Amy Berti are with us this morning. Good morning. Good to see both of you. Good morning. Morning. Uh, Joe, let me start with you. You, uh, you guys separated during the race. Joe, you finished ahead of Amy, correct? Yeah, I had just gone through the finish line about um, um, 30 seconds before the first explosion. And did you know where Amy was at that point? I wasn't completely sure. We were supposed to meet at a restaurant afterwards, but I, I was uh, concerned that she had walked to the finish line to uh, watch me run through. And, and Amy, you were actually there as the bomb went off. In fact, very close. There's a photo in which we actually uh, mm -hmm. see your proximity to the explosion. Tell us what you saw and felt and heard. We, um, a girlfriend and I, Katie, were actually closer to that bomb than we ever imagined. We were watching our husbands finish and um, went to see them at the end, and it went off, taking us completely by surprise, and just the shock, you know, the shock of what on earth is going on. It was terrifying. You were unhurt, but there were other people. I know you saw some badly injured people and some people who didn't even realize how badly hurt they were. That's mm -hmm. correct. Um, the woman beside me, um, her leg below the knee was just, I, I think it may have even been gone. Um, and then she lost all the fingers on her left hand and just, she did, I don't believe she realized that that was the case. And I know you two were, were trying to meet up. You couldn't find each other. There was a natural worry. Eventually you end up at the hotel and see each other. Tell us about that reunion. It was the worst hour of my life. Um, and, you know, looking for him in the medical tents, not knowing if he had survived that blast. Mm -hmm. It was between Joe and I where it went off. And so I, I honestly didn't know if he was okay for a full hour. And it wasn't until I came into that hotel room mm -hmm where that sense of relief and gratefulness that we had both made it um, miraculously yeah. unscathed. Can imagine. And then, and then, Joe, fast forward two days later, you're driving. You've been doing mm -hmm. some uh, business in Dallas, driving back to Austin. You snapped yeah. that shot of what was then a fire at the fertilizer plant. Tell us what happened mm -hmm. then. Well, we just decided to get back to our, our daily life. So um, a couple of days later, I went to a meeting in Dallas and was driving back. and. On the left side of the highway, there was black smoke coming up, and I was staring right at it. And before I knew it, a giant explosion. Uh, I heard the sound, and a giant mushroom cloud. Um, you, you think you see a picture of a nuclear explosion, and that's what it looked like. It was just massive on the left side of the, the highway. Um, and so I was obviously shocked to see another explosion after um, having just come back can, from Boston. can only imagine, and very yeah. quickly, the question in everyone's mm -hmm. mind, are you the luckiest guy around or the most unlucky? You know, I, I've had people ask that. I, I feel blessed. Uh, Amy was uh, 10 feet away from an explosion where hundreds of people were injured, and um, I had just run through the finish line 30 seconds before. So, so we feel blessed that we're still here. We're okay. There's a lot of people who, um, who weren't in the same situation, so we're, well, we're happy to be here. Well, Joe and Amy Birdie, so. we wish you plenty of quiet days after this. You've been through enough. Thank you so much for coming on and sharing okay. your story. We do appreciate it. Okay, thank you. Appreciate thank it. Thank you.